Hello friends! I have a very special and sort of unusual video for you today because I got me a new machine. I have joined the Janome Maker program and I could not be more excited. They have sent me an M7 Continental machine to play with for the next couple years and I am so excited to unbox this beast. It is crazy. I am going to film a little unboxing for you and then show you what comes in it and all that kind of jazz. So I'm, I'm hype. Many people have expressed concern about this little lady. Don't you worry. She's staying with me. I'm not getting rid of it. She's my girl. I love this machine. I learned how to sew on this machine, so she's staying with me. But for now, it's time for a little weapons upgrade. Okay, I thought I'd give you a little overhead view. You guys are getting more cinematography than you ever get on my vlogs, but <laughs> I thought I would give you a little view of what it's like to unbox this baby. Oh, look, another box. Yay. <laughs> Oh my. This is the table. And there's a embroidered cover. So there is a beautiful embroidered cover in here that you can use to set on top of your machine and keep it nice and clean. So this is the size of the machine. You can see there's a ruler right there. This is the table deck that sits around it to give you more working space. Auxiliary foot. <laughs> I think this is the one that helps cut thread, needle position, all that kind of stuff. We have I think it's 21 or 22 different feet. Power cable. Instruction manual of doom. Holy cow, so we got a DVD. Application for your PC. <laughs> CD-ROM, I'm like, how, how am I gonna get that onto my computer? <laughs> I have a CD-ROM somewhere. Instruction book. This is to put the feet on so that they can stay together and nice and secure. These are two additional presser feet plates because this has three presser feet plates. Wow, it's beautiful. It's so big. <laughs> the infrastructure that it takes to get, get you that shot that I just gave you. This is a tripod with a little slidey roller on it and a, and a Z mount on top of that. And then the camera hangs straight down from there. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to clean off this desk, get it ready, get it prepped.
were all cleaned up and I took a minute to do a little minor adjusting on this desk. People are going to ask me what this desk is. <laughs> it is two sets of drawers from Ikea and a Ikea desktop. You can get them in tons of different sizes and you just stick it on top of the drawers. <laughs> it's really that simple. I have another one of these that's at my makeup table. Exactly the same layout. <laughs> I love it. It's great. And if you move and you decide you have a smaller desk space, you just get a smaller top. Or if you get more desk space, you can get a bigger top, which is fantastic. Okay, I pulled out this styrofoam thing that was in the throat space of the machine and I found this, which is a case for all the feet and accessories that you get. There's also a drawer for some of them that is in the table deck. Alrighty, here are all the bits and bobbins that come with the machine, including plenty of feet that I have never even seen before. I'm pretty sure that these have to do with free motion quilting. Uh, these are part of their, they're sort of like walking feet. They have, one of the plates is like a precision plate, so you have a precision walker and a regular walker. They're not really walking feet, but it's the next best thing to one. Uh, all the normal supplies. This appears to be an automatic button holder, which, let me just tell you, I am super hype on. So I'm going to go read my manual and learn all about all of these things. This is the original plate that it comes with, and then there are two other plates. Man, they thought of everything with this. So inside there's a little plate that goes right here, and inside here is the cord, which is fantastic. I was also very concerned that these screws would go ahead and like scratch my wood floor, but no, there's all these cool little rubber feet on this bracket thing. Man, they just thought of everything. This is so beautifully done. And you pop this plate back on and you're good to go with this guy. This runs up and plugs in your machine. And then I'm going to take this foot pedal, which is the thread cutter foot pedal, and attach it here. Whoa. I'm super interested in this. I'm super interested in this because it says using the foot control. If you wish to use the foot control, pull out the cord from the foot control. So that implies you can sew without the foot pedal. What does that even mean? All right, victory friends. I love how this machine is so bright that it makes the rest of my room look pitch black. Whew. Okay, so what's really awesome is if you don't know what you're doing, they have this magnificent help screen that like walks you through whatever you need. Like, I was looking at winding the bobbin and I really just needed to know how to put the bobbin in. So I was like, cool. Oh, okay, I need to push that button and then I do it like this. Cool. And if you're even more like tech savvy, you can scan this little QR code in their little app and it'll show you a little video of it. Okay, here's the video. This is how to wind the bobbin. Oh. I didn't have to do this part yet, so this is fascinating. I just think this is amazing technology. Okay, now how to do that. Cool. Yep, we did that. Neat. Everything has a thread cutter on it, which I love. 
That's really cool. That's really cool. One of the things that I think is super awesome is this table is going to allow me to set you guys right here so I can film stuff going through here. And now I'm going to try my very first stitches. I don't know how this is going to work out. I just want proof of concept here. Okay, put the, the foot down. That's needle down. Press her foot down. Okay, we're gonna sew. Here they are, the first stitches. Oh, okay. Well, that's very slow. Okay. Oh my god, that was so exciting, and it cut my thread for me, but I don't know what happened to the bobbin. I wonder if it figures that out itself. That's fast. Okay, we're gonna try and see. Let's do another, another go. Okay. Where is the end? Where are you, end? Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, that was aggressive. Sorry if I bounced you. That's what happens when I don't know what I'm doing. This is incredible. This is just incredible. That's what I have to say. This is incredible. It found the bobbin again, even though I didn't know where it was. These stitches look gorgeous. I'm super into them. Wow. Okay, cool. And you can change your stitch length here. You can also do it here. And you can watch it going up and down as I roll this, which is kind of neat. I think my old machine was at a two all the time. And then you can also do stitch width, if that's a thing that you're dealing with. This is incredible, guys. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out which zigzag stitch is the one I want. So I'm going to try that one. But then I look at this and I go, this is page 1 of 37 of the stitches. Oh my god. Buttonholes. Okay. Don't get excited. It's okay. <gasps> Highlights. <gasps> Tells you what foot to use. The F foot. Do I have the F foot? How will I know if it's the F foot? Okay. Things to find out. Wow. This is crazy. You guys. You guys, this is crazy. I don't... Oh my gosh, that's cool. This stitch is really cool. What's that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. This machine is like, seriously, you're gonna go through all of them right now? And I'm like, yes I am. Yes, yes I am. Wow. This is so cool, you guys. I don't even know how to do most of these. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure all this out. How do I know when I'm on F? I gotta learn how to change the feet, too. This is a whole new system for me. Like, I don't know any part of this. It's a whole new system. Huh. I'm surprised I don't have one that's each... I mean, they have each of these playing card things, but they don't have, like, one that's, you know, all of them in a row. That's cool. Okay, I don't know if this is completely boring for you guys or not, but I'm I'm doing it anyway. Wow. Wow. I wanna I want to make all of these. I they all use an F foot. I wonder what foot is on there right now. Oh, we're going through this. Okay. Wow. I can write my name. That's cool. 
Oh no. I don't even know what I just said. Okay. Let's go back here. This is the A foot. Okay. Cool. Well, at least I know that. Um this is zigzag, I think. So we're going to give it a go. I'm I'm confused about this like break and knot right there, but let let me find out what that means. I did indeed zigzag. That was pretty cool and I I increased it by turning this dial, but I'm pretty sure I could have sat here tapping the, these buttons, but this dial seems a little bit easier to use. But that's cool. There's a zigzag that looks exactly like it, but it starts the opposite direction. So I wonder... that's very specific. And the obvious answer to the question about how will I know the feet? It's written on them. So now I've got to figure out where the R is, because I put some in here, but some are in there in this box. So I'm going to go check that out. Guys, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I just put on a different foot, learned how to do that, and then I made an eyelet. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't have to hand bind eyelets. Ah! I made an oval eyelet. Now we're gonna go for a teardrop. Who's excited? I am. Ooh, that's big. pedal. When I click it, it cuts the thread and lifts everything up for me. So I can show you that I made a teardrop. Okay, I'm gonna play with this thing forever. So awesome. I am so hype, you guys. I'm so excited, you guys. I, I, I want to go play with every single thing. I cannot do that. I'm too busy. But <laughs> I want to go play with everything. Really, I just need to sew some mask straps on tonight. <laughs> um, but I, I, I can't even believe that I get to, to do this. Like, being a Janome maker is going to be awesome. Like, I'm super excited. Uh, it's a he. He has a name. His name is Laszlo. Abby also got one of these. And she has Nadja. And if you know the reference for Nadja and Laszlo, leave it in the comments down below. Okay, I'm gonna go play with my toy. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed seeing it come out of its box with me. Um, it has taken me a couple days to read through the manual <laughs> and get to the point where I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna give this a go. So it's actually been like two days since I took it out of the box and I turned it on for the first time for me to actually start sewing something on it. So I'm gonna go practice sewing on it because I'm gonna start sewing on it real soon now, so probably next week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye guys.